Oh, it looks like we're being told to stop. What's happening here? Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Uh, can you see me right? Hang on. That's better. Hello, I'm Luke. Today's Monday, um, and tonight, and tomorrow night, I'm doing my first ever sleeping in a cab. Never slept in a cab before. Uh, so it's gonna be fun. Tonight's the first night. It is four o'clock in the morning right now. We've just got, well, we've got into work about 20 to four. Um, just need to finish off my checks. I've done them all. Just need to write down what's wrong, which is nothing. So I just need to make sure I've ticked it all off. Um, what's the date today? It's the 25th, 24th today. 24th. So yeah, um, first night out in the cab. We're um, operating out of Southampton for the next couple of days. So what I'm doing is, um, in a second I'll be making my way down to Southampton. We get loaded out of a company called, called Days Aggregate. And then they, um, Laden me with bags full of stone or sand, and I then deliver those bags and sand to companies who own the product. So it could be Travis Perkins, or it could be Build Base, or it could be anything, anything like those sort of DOI sort of bags and sand companies. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So um, hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully the mood will pick up a little bit when I've woken up a little bit, but uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, hello everybody. We are in Southampton. We're on our way to our, um, what we're gonna call, what we're gonna call this place. It's like the place we're gonna keep going to to get loaded, the hub. So we're on our way to the hub, well, we're, where we get loaded basically. So we're on our way there now. I've been told to get here for six o'clock. So, um, I will be here for six. I don't know what time they open now. It might be seven. So if that's the case, I'll just put it on break. I'll have a 15 minute break. And um, just rest for an hour or so. But it's just around the corner according to sat now, less than a mile away. I want to give a shout out to Jamie Rigby. Your girlfriend called Cass message me, ask me to give you a shout out. So, uh, hello Jamie, thanks for watching. Apparently you watch all my videos and you are um, in the process of becoming a lorry driver yourself. It's all you ever wanted to do. So, um, good luck mate. Continue on with your journey. And um, yeah, best of luck. But for now we are on our way to Southampton docks, or well, near the docks by the water somewhere anyway. <laughs> Four minutes away. So I've never been to this place before. So I don't know where to go, what to do or anything. So it's all gonna be fun and games when we get there. Are you indicating right? Yes, you are. I guess, I suppose what I'll probably do is park up and then, that bloke there is working for the company I'm delivering to. So it's just around the corner. Um, yeah, what I'll do is probably park up and then sort of have a little gander. And when he gets there, because he's obviously walking to work, I will ask him and tell him that I'm new and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and hopefully he'll, he'll explain it to me a little bit. Half a mile. 
I see water. I haven't seen anywhere that there's a weight limit, so that's good. Oh. There's that tall bridge. All the water is to the left of us. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere to park around here. In case I need to st stop here overnight, because obviously I need to find somewhere overnight to sleep. I ain't got a clue where I'm going to stop yet. All these are yellow lines. All these roads. But then it does look like an industrial estate, so you would have thought you could. could. No, that's blocking. Blocking an entrance there. I'll have to keep an eye on it. There's loads of traffic behind me as well. Right, should be the next left. Like I said, there's loads of traffic behind me, so I can't really stop on the road. Not this bit of the road, anyway. Cars are following me in. It's this company on the right, look, Days Aggregates. Ooh. Let's put my hazards on. Yeah, as long as they can squeeze past, that's all I care about. Switch off all flashing beacons before entering the depot. Right, so I need to find out what's happening and uh, hopefully I'll be back in a bit. Right, so we are a couple of miles away from our first drop. Got a motorcyclist down there. Sneaking up on the left. Um, yes, yeah, so we managed to get loaded all right out of that red plant. Uh, I red plan out of um, Southampton. We uh, got loaded. We're fully loaded with like a load of pallets and a couple of bags full of sand. And um, we are on our way to Reading. So uh, well, when I say we're on our way, we're actually ne nearly here now. We've just gone past the place we need to go to um, because it's on the A33, which is the road we're on now. But to get there, you've got to come back on the other side. So we're going down here to the roundabout, spinning around, coming back on ourselves, and then we're going to turn left. Um, the company is called Ems. Ems Building Supplies. And as I come down, I could see inside, there's no one in there, like lorry-wise, so hopefully I'll be the first to load. I don't think I can do a Yui here. The roundabout is literally 800 yards further on, so I'll just go down to the next one. Go down to the roundabout. What's this car doing? Gonna jump the red light? Yeah. You see that? What an idiot. Um, so yeah, just gonna go to this roundabout, spin round, come back down, and then um, we'll be there. Right, we've spun round at the roundabout, heading back down now. That's where I was earlier. And it's just up here on the lift. <gasps> Got hiccups. That roundabout was a bit of a nightmare, it was massive. It wasn't very clear what lane to be in to go all the way around. But I got round in one piece, that's all that matters. Half a mile. Been and bought myself um, this cap, but it's not just any sort of cap. It's a hard hat cap, so uh, it looks a lot better than having to wear like yellow or white or blue or whatever hard hat. It's a hard cap, and um, a few of the sites I've been going to, they've also been wearing these. So 
I'm going to try and get away wearing this all the time. Trouble is, you're going to get someone at some point saying, where's your hard hat? I'm like, it's here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, pretty cool. It only costs like, I think, six or ten pound from B&Q. So, um, I think they had one for six pound and then I got the uh, more expensive one. So this is where we're going, M's. Like I said, it doesn't look like there's anyone in there. Right next to the services. Just gonna drive straight on in. Um, where to park HGV that'd be a good uh, good sign wouldn't it this yellow box looks like I have to reverse out I'll wait and see right I'm going to go and make myself known and uh, find out what's happening see you in a bit Right, that's that tipped. We're uh, just getting ready to go. Got paperwork signed. We're taking about 25 pallets with us. That can go in there. Um, oh yeah. I'm starting to sweat. So, put some... Uh, the Adrian's on. So what we ended up doing in the end, because obviously I was facing the other way, I come down here and I just spun round. Uh, and matey boys just told me just now, not not allowed to do that. <laughs> so I said, alright, oh, yeah, well, first time I've been here, so I didn't know that, but now I know. Apparently, what you've got to do is turn right there and then reverse in. So, never mind. Also, he specifically said, do not go straight on down there. Turn right here. And go straight onto the A33. But before I go any further, I've not put in the old twat now of where I'm going. Recent destination. Southampton Drive An hour and 17 minutes away And how much driving time do I have left? 59 minutes So that car there did not want to let me in. Never mind. Yeah, um, so I need to stop somewhere on the way and have half an hour break. I've had a 15 minutes while I was there, after I tipped. So now it's half an hour left. Right, so I've just been told that, um, well firstly we've come back to the hub where we're getting loaded out of in Southampton. Uh, just spoke to the guys in the office. I've got one more run to do today. We're just going to Bays and Stoke, come back again, preload for the morning to deliver, I don't know where, but somewhere else. So yeah, basically I've got to go get loaded now, tip and Bays and Stoke, come back, preload, find out where I'm going, and then stop somewhere on the way for the night. So, um, yeah. Just looking forward to finding somewhere good to stop, that's all. I might actually like need to stop and uh, look at the roads and see where I can stop. Because I want 4G. I can't. I've downloaded a shed load of stuff on my, on my tablet. Um, I sh I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. Hang on, unlock. So I've got Amazon Prime. Um, 
Prime video and I downloaded like a shed load of stuff to go on there when it loads up uh, right my downloads there we go so I've got those movies I've uh, got like Turn which is like back in like Washington days when there's uh, spies and stuff it's like the Civil War really good so um, I've got the last few episodes of season three and then I've downloaded the whole of season four that's out so far there might be more I don't know uh, The Man in the High Castle I started watching that but I downloaded season two and then Taken you know the film Taken I will find you there's like a I will kill you <laughs> there's a um a series on that like a spin-off series so I downloaded that as well and um, now I downloaded some movies as well so I got um, Free State of Jones, End of Watch, Live Die Repeat, Horrible Bosses 2 and John Wick so I got five movies to watch over the next few days if I want to watch them now matey boy in front of me is now moved so I might need to move forward Pro problem is I can't move forward with my sides down or the front of the sides down because as it turns the back wheels push it out um, so I might need to get out in a second and hire it up uh, yeah I better go back on and do that see you in a bit hello right so sick rep is now we have oh shit there's sirens behind me There's uh, police bikes. Oh, it looks like we're being told to stop. What's happening here? Oh, some shit is happening. What's that about them? Fuck knows. Um, so situation is, we have, I'm gonna be following this all the way now, aren't I? We've done our first load this morning, which was to Reading. We've come back, got loaded again, and now we're going to Basingstoke. Don't pull out. Uh, so we're going to Basingstoke now, we're going to build base in uh, Basingstoke. And then, yeah, you see it, keep going. I'm literally going to follow this all the way. And then that's it for the day. Then we're going to be coming back and um, preloading for the morning to deliver somewhere in the morning, uh, which I know is Farnham we're going to. Um, the only thing I've got to sort out is where I'm going to be having a break. There's a bridge right by the hub that we're calling the hub, the depot which we're being loaded out of. There's a bridge literally right around the corner and they have uh, been told it's free parking there and I went past it and there's lorries parked there now. So I'm thinking just park under there rather than driving, park under there because I'm in Southampton. I'm going to get 4G coverage which is very important to me. Um, and then wherever I'm going, well Farnham, however long it takes to get there, I just wake up early and uh, drive there. So. It, won't, it can't be much further than an hour or so away and I need to be there for six, probably. So I won't need to leave uh, like leave the lorry and start driving any earlier than five o'clock in the morning. So that's almost delaying. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna stay under that bridge. Not that I need any food because I've been a bought shitload of food already, but literally around the corner, it's in, it's in Southampton and around the corner is like a high street and there's like, fish and chip shops, kebabs, co-op, there's cash machine, there's like loads of stuff all around it and the, and the uh, harbour's there as well so you can, I can have a little walk or something, do you know what I mean? Just get out of the cab. So I definitely plan on going out, I think, getting out of the cab and doing some other stuff. I've also got my laptop with me so this vlog, this very vlog that I'm recording right now, I will probably be editing. Got a full battery of, of laptop. Um, so I should be able to get one vlog edited in the next couple of days. 
when the battery runs out, I do have a charger for the battery for the laptop. But the last time I used it on my eight wheeler, I blew a fuse and I, I blew the fuse for the cigarette lighter. So I was screwed for the rest of the day. Um, I am going to try it again in this lorry and rather than plugging it into my extender, I'm going to plug it directly into the 24 volt uh, outlet. Worst case scenario, the lorry catches on fire. But I'm hoping all that happens is it blows, it blows a fuse. Doesn't matter because I've been and bought some more fuses. I've got a whole packet of fuses that I bought from Harrods. Harrods? Halfords. Get your dog in. Thank you. Yeah, from uh, Halfords. Been and bought some fuses, like a big pack, 120 fuses for like eight quid. Uh, also, shout out to the bloke I saw in Sirencester Poundland. Um, who caught me doing my shopping. Not not shopping, we sort of, I went to Sirencester primarily for those fuses and I remember uh, Poundland selling uh, a packet of fuses in like a yellow box, like ages ago when I used to drive a car for the first time when I got my first got my car license. So I thought I'd go to Poundland and see if they still got them, rather than paying sort of like eight quid for them, do you know what I mean? So me and the girlfriend and the kids went to Poundland. Uh, I had a little wander around. God, are you going to let me go through? Flash me at least. Uh, yes, yeah, so we went to Poundland, and as I walked in, like almost immediately as I walked in, there was this person staring at me, and I was in uh, my black hoodie, and I'm not like the smallest of guys. I look quite big. My hands were in my pockets, in a hoodie, and I thought maybe he thought I was going to steal something because I walked in separately. Um, I didn't walk in with my girlfriend or my kids. I was in front of them. Um, so yeah, as I walked in, I immediately knew he was looking at me. I like to think I've got quite a good prep vision, and I, I know when someone's looking at me. And, you know, I just done my shopping, had a little look around, ended up buying a couple of Glade. I say Glade, just like cheap air fresheners for this lorry, because it stinks of cigarettes in here. So it was a pound for four of them, but I, only, I thought it was just one, so I took out the packet and just took one to the till. It wasn't until my girlfriend started scanning it all and it came up on the system saying pack of four. She said, Luke, isn't it a pack of four? And then as soon as she said my name, this person obviously recognised it was me. He said, are you Luke seen HTV? I thought, yeah, I am. So I can't remember what your name is. I looked at your name tag and I was going to remember it, but I can't remember now. I want to say it begins with a C, but I've got absolutely no idea. I can't remember. So shout out to the Poundland guy. Couldn't have been that old. I'd say early 20s, late teens. So yeah, shout out to you. Thank you very much for watching the vlogs. It does, um, it's starting to happen more and more now. <laughs> People are starting to recognize me out and about in the street, um, which I don't mind. <laughs> My girlfriend, she doesn't not like it. She just thinks it's weird. <laughs> she, uh, we walked out of Poundland and she goes, God, I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> so um, it's cool. Thank you, thank you for watching the vlog and, and everyone else as well that watches my vlogs. Um, with regards to the truck, so this is, what I'm driving right now is a temporary truck um, because the, the truck I was driving, the Polar Bear one, which looks really nice, um, it's getting sold, it's going. So this is my temporary truck until I get a new one and the new one, it, why is it jumping? The new one is going to be 480 horsepower, I believe, MAN. It'd be probably a white one. And it will then eventually be done up. I don't know what it's going to look like. I have suspicions that it's going to be another polar bear one, which I don't mind because it looks sick as fuck. Sorry for swearing. It looks really nice. Um, so yeah, I don't know what it's going to look like, my new truck. But... I, I'll get a new truck in a couple of weeks, I reckon. Probably brand new, it'd just be uh, new to the company. And then it'll slowly be done up bit by bit. These things take time. And then, I can't wait to go to another truck fest or another show or some sort. Um, the reason why we, I don't think we're going to any at the moment is because he did have five trucks all done up. But now he's only got three trucks done up because he's selling two. And um, he's already replaced one of them, which is Robin's. And just my one needs to be replaced now. 
So yes, that's why I'm not in a smart truck. And that's why I've not been uh, gone to any other truck fests. Hopefully soon. How much do we weigh? I don't know how much the cab and trailer weighs, to be honest with you. It can't weigh any more than 15 ton. Maybe 20 tops. And I'm carrying 27 ton. Yeah, so about 44 ton. Like I said, about 15 ton, I think, cab and trailer. Maybe 14. But um, yeah, we're on our way to Basingstoke now. Come back, get loaded and then probably park underneath that bridge. It's like twice the height of that bridge. It's a really tall bridge. We are in Basingstoke. Basingstoke? Basingstoke? Yeah, Basingstoke. Thought it was. And we're just around the corner from where we are dropping off at the build base. I had a quick look on Google Maps and it looks like you go in one way and you come out the other, so nice and easy, hopefully no reversing. I mean, I can reverse, but it's just easy when you haven't got to, isn't it? I am wondering where my sat nav has taken me though. Down here. We are turning right. Go on, mate, off you go. Build base, build base, where are you, build base? How are you all down here? Oh yeah, build base, that big, that big red sign. It's probably a good, uh, good guess of where I've got to go. Entrance exit. Yes, yeah, so it looks like I come out of here and I go in here. It's be good seeing entrance one way. I suspect I've got to go all the way around. All the way around we shall go. No goods to be looted out of that staff member. I don't see anyone yet. I'm hoping they uh, tip me quite quickly. I'm the only lorry here. I got 34 bulk bags on, like them over there. So maybe want to park somewhere where they all are. Like here. Looks like they're bays for them. The people in here. Sorry, bud. Where do you want me? Or not? Completely ignored me. I'll wait here then. Bolt bags. You got 19 of 20 mil ballast and 15 of uh, type one. Where do you want me, mate? Ah, uh, yeah. Um. Good question. Just how far are you? Alright, mate. Right, uh, while he's finding out where I'm going to park, I'm going to get out and have a look as well. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so we've uh, parked up for the night now. Uh, just around the corner from where we get loaded, which is just around the corner. Got a, a bridge right above us, which I don't know if it's a motorway or not. Let's have a look. 
No, it was the AE3025. But, um, it's good. I've heard that is all right to park here. Not too bad. So, I've just got dressed. Out of my work clothes. And now I'm in my civilian clothes, so to speak. Seat going down. <laughs> and yeah. I'm just getting ready now to do the live stream. On Facebook. Which is going to be... What time is it now? I'm going to go live at 6 o'clock. It's half five now. So I'll be going live soon. Can't bend my legs up. Got brand new jeans on. And they're a bit stiff. The trouble with being six foot six, up, uh, six foot six. The trouble with being six foot four and being overweight means you don't have an awful lot of room in your cab. Anyway, I've taken the card out. Um, we're now officially off the clock. It's chillax time now. I'm going to do a live stream and then um, do that for a bit, maybe an hour. And then later on, 7 o'clock, go get some dinner. Loads of takeaways around here. And then uh, come back, watch some TV and go to sleep. I haven't even worked out how long it's going to take me to get to the place I've got to go to yet. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to do the live stream now. <laughs>